Hey guys, it's April Holly Smith and it is a gray stinking day out, but that's not going to stop us because it's time to shop. Lots of LED. Ooh. It's a bug light. 250. But it's an LED. Oh, I kind of want to get one of these. I'm gonna look through these. Oh, how much are these? 274. Is this an LED? Oh, it's a CFL bulb. I don't want a CFL. Kids would love that. That's gonna happen. Ooh, these look yucky. <gasps> Baking cups, cupcakes, any of these. 75 cents. Two of those are mine. Lemon shirts, five seventy four. These are a large. Oh, I would fit into this. And these are ten bucks. Extra large. I'm get sixteen cents for those bad boys. Okay guys, I just got out of Giant Eagle and I spent $19.86. Way more than the $5 in eggs I have planned on. Um, but I did get two packages of chicken breasts, which were $1.59, which is a better price than I've seen them even at Aldi's in the last several weeks. So I did get two trays, which is about $10, so like $5.09 and $4.58. So it's just under $10. Um, that's good times and then um, I did get three donuts for everyone at my house and I got a package of 99 cent Angie's kettle corn boom chicka pop and two cupcake liners because I need them and they were 75 cents which wasn't bad it's not super great but it wasn't bad and they were full-size ones unlike the ones at the Dollar Tree which are some kind of like small not mini but not full-sized so what could it do, Dollar Tree? All right, so I went to Walgreens and it was totally supposed to be like a, um, like a regular errand. I was gonna get candy there too, because I had some, ooh, 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 whoa. Because I had some um, coupons for it for Halloween, which trick or treat is today. Like for real, it's like 10 a.m., dude. Oh my God. Okay, anyway, um, so I got six bags of candy, and with, it's on sale, two for six, one of them was two for seven, and I had two dollars off by three, so I bought six bags, and so I got four dollars off, and I had, so it only cost fifteen dollars for that, and I had twenty dollars budgeted, which is great. I was going to go in and get some, actually I'm going to tell you the vlog about that, because it doesn't have to do anything with groceries. just came out of Sam's. I spent $42.18. I went to Sam's this week because I needed toilet paper, which was not on sale. Um, I also got oil, which I wasn't going to get. I decided to not get because I didn't want to pay $20. I just want to pay $2.50 again. And also the coffee situation this morning was a little desperate. Actually, I noticed like three days ago, it was like, oh, I'm going to have to buy coffee. Um, and I'm just going to tell you something, personal rant coming. You know, I love the members mark, the red can, because it's, it's like a clear red. It's, it's, a uh, it's not opaque, it's sheer. So you can see like the steel, um, kind of the, 
the lines in it like like you can on a stainless steel like refrigerator it has those like lines that go this way the texture of it even though it's like a smooth um, yeah these ones they're opaque red paint I'm really bummed about it don't love the cans at all so anyway I spent um, $18.68 on toilet paper and the rest which was like 23 something on coffee and oil so that went towards my food budget and that means I have $41.63 yes I do have to look at it because I have to write it down and I can't do it in my head so it's still plenty of money so I, we're all to the good in your face all these I got 18 eggs for 99 cents in your face Taking it seriously, they've got one, two, three. That three of those buggers. Now wait. You can film with me. Okay. All right. So here is my haul, and there are some what I would consider non-grocery items, things that don't come out of the grocery budget, but things I did buy today. Are you ready to help? Yep. All right. You show them the donut. That's the first thing I got. Is three donuts from Giant Eagle. Are you enjoying that donut? Yeah. Okay, so that is definitely a grocery item. This is a non-grocery item. This is $18.68 at Sam's. While it is not a grocery item, it is absolutely 100% needed. I did get two pumpkins, which again, I don't consider grocery items. They were $3.99 each, so it was $8. I had to turn the TV down. So then I got some real groceries. Uh, which again, I kind of think this is almost like a not grocery thing even though it's food. It would be these six bags of candies I got two Snickers two Kit Kats and two Twix. They were on sale two bags for six dollars except the Snickers They were two bags for seven dollars Snickers Snickers not stickers. These are these are Snickers They're the, the king of Halloween candy when I, no, whenever you're done. Maybe if you get some Snickers in your Halloween candy bag. But I did have t a coupon for $2 off three bags. And I was able to use two of them, so it was $4 off. So I paid $15 for all six bags, which is, I think, more than we should need. Okay, so that was at Walgreens. And that was the only thing I bought at Walgreens, but that was a good time. Then I went to Giant Eagle. And at Giant Eagle in the Markdown area, I got these paper baking cups for cupcakes. They were 75 cents. Yes, I got two of them, so there was a dollar fifty more. All right, maybe dollar forty-eight. But I got two of these, and that was awesome. Um, also at Giant Eagle, I got five. One, two, three, four, five. Eighteen packs of eggs, and they were ninety-nine cents each. So this is 99 cents, so five dollars. Then I also got two packages of chicken breast, boneless, skinless. That's one package, and this is my second package. So I paid just under ten dollars for both of these. They are nice size. They are super fresh, and they were a dollar fifty-nine. In your face, Aldi's. Also, Aldi's eggs in your face. Okay, so then um, also at Sam's while I was there, I did get coffee because, you know, desperate times for desperate measures, and they totally changed this. Can you see how it's just an opaque paint? It's not the pretty shiny stuff. Sad times. This was $8.64, $8.43, something like that. Then I also just broke down and got the extra virgin olive oil, three liters, so this is a big container. It was $17 and change, so we're just going to call it $18. Then, when I was at Rite Aid getting non-grocery stuff related to my contacts, the... Oh, man. In Seville. This is apple cider. It's super special. It is that time of year, and the Lions Club was selling it, and I paid an outrageous $6 for it on the side of the road, which is always how apple cider should be bought, just so that you know. Because my family used to have a cider press and used to make apple cider, and my great uncle Madison 
would sit on the side of the road in his pickup truck and sell it. And for years and years and years, I remember driving by and we'd wave, honk and wave. I'd be with my Aunt Betty. So that is like a big deal that was like a good for my heart thing. Okay, so I got diapers, which again is not a grocery thing. It's $10.50 or something like that, but I did buy that out of a different budget. So it, I did purchase it today and it is included in some of my receipts. One, two, three, four loaves of bread at 83 cents each, which is seems to be the regular price at Aldi's right now. Speaking of things that were one price and are now another, this was a dollar sixty-nine or two sixty-nine, back to two dollars and eighty-nine cents, which I consider the regular price, even though the other price was listed as regular. Uh, I did get lunch ham again, and I got a big one, eight dollars and fifty-two cents, three and a half pounds. It's, she's a it's a big Bertha, um, so that's good times. I did get onions because I did not go to save a lot. Uh, it was $1.49, not as cheap, but whatever. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Got two pounds of bacon, $4.19 each. Then I got one, two, three, four, five avocados. These are totally not ripe. They're going to take at least a week to ripen, but these were $0.99 cents each, so it's $5. You... I got this grass-fed ground beef for myself, $5.29, which is absolutely the regular price at Aldi's. And I will tell you that this is a good price. So, certified organic, grass-fed. So this is uh, the best price. It's even better than my local butcher at Dumas, which makes me a little sad, but I'm happy that I can get that. Got a taco seasoning packet for 35 cents. I got green onions for 89 cents, one package. And the last but not least, also from Giant Eagle in the Markdown department, Boom Chicka Pop, candy corn flavored kettle corn, 99 cents. So this is my haul. I don't know exactly how much I spent on groceries because my bill from all these includes things like diapers, pumpkins that are not for eating, and my Sam's also has toilet tissue, which is definitely not for eating oh and last but not least i know you knew that it was coming right i've got one two three four five taken big pizzas and you can see one of them one of them is going to happen for lunch right now and then the other ones are going to be uh put in the freezer so that we can have them on subsequent weekends so uh, that is my haul so we can eat them that's right so we can eat them okay. say bye Bye. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Say thanks for Hi. watching. Bye.